So we're going to make a simple tripart curve brush here by taking this cube, duplicating it a couple of times, and then removing our mask and auto grouping this so we have three different poly groups. I'm going to isolate a single one by control shift and clicking on that. And then I'm going to delete a flat island. So that will remove these. I'll invert my selection, remove these. Control shift click on this one, remove these faces. Control alt, control shift drag on the interface to remove these, or to invert the faces and then remove these faces. So we now have holes in between each of these three meshes. If you're to look at any given one, you can see that the top and bottom faces are missing, but not on the top and the bottom of the tri-curve. It is important the placement when we're looking front at, front on at this tri-curve, we need this to be the position in our viewport. Um, we simply go to brush, tri uh, curve, <laughs> create rather, create insert mesh. We make a new brush. And then if we go to any polymesh 3D and we try and sculpt that brush on, you can see it adds it on, but it, there's no curve mode enabled. So we need to go to our stroke menu, turn on curve mode, and we now have a curve, but it's not actually stitching them together. To do this, we need to go to our brush menu, down under modifiers, and turn on weld points and stretch. That will now attach these together and they work as a curve. You can see it's still a little bit clunky because the resolution of the curve isn't very much. Those, those lines on the uh, those edges on the center are not actually deforming nicely and smoothly. So in order to fix that, we'll have to go back down to our brush and increase the curve resolution a little bit. And you see the next time we click on the curve, they'll allow that to happen then. If however, you had gone back to your curve brush and you had started this, you'd made it exactly as you have here, but you took it from a top view. When you hit brush, create insert mesh and create a new brush, you can still go to your stroke menu, turn on curve mode, Go over here to your modifiers, turn on weld points and stretch, increase your curve resolution, etc. When you next go to draw this onto a cube, you can see that it's all messed up, and that's because it's reading from the top down. In order to display this correctly along the surface, you need to make sure that this is seen from the front. I hope this tip helps. Any questions, or any suggestions, please do let me know. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.